campers, Captain Kyra here. Um, today we're going to be talking about beach ecology. Uh, so what I need you guys to do is line up at your color crew flags. On the way there, if you will, go ahead and fill up your water bottles and make sure you're putting on sunscreen because we don't want to look like lobsters and we don't want to dehydrate because here on Burton we like to stay hydrated and not dehydrate. I wonder where the beach even comes from. Okay, camper, keep up. Oh, don't put your hand on the rail. You'll get a splinter. Stop. Okay, are you excited for the beach? I know, me too. I love the beach. It's a great, great time. Yeah. So, Captain, where does all this sand come from anyway? Where does the beach come from? To understand that, we first have to understand where sand comes from. So, if you listen up, guys, I'll tell you. Sand is moved in three major ways, water, wind, and humans. Water moves sand with the help of watersheds and currents. Wind moves the sand with the help of winter wind storms. And us humans, we move the sand by a process of dredging. Dredging is where we take these huge pieces of equipment, we place them in the body of water where we want to get sand from, and we literally pull sand from the bottom of the seafloor, place it on the island, and move it all around. Captain, what's a watershed? Awesome question. So an easy way to explain a watershed is all the land that drains precipitation to bodies of water. Water drains downhill, right? and we find rivers and creeks at the bottom of hills, right? That's a watershed. So if you will, take your hand, place it palm up and your fingers towards the sky. Pretend like your fingers are the tops of hills and the bottom of your hand, the palm of your hand will be the creeks. So if it's raining at the top of my fingertips, all the water at, the, at my fingertips will then run into my palm of my hand, down to my wrist and down to my elbow. Oh, just like in Finding Nemo? When Gil says all drains lead to the ocean, right? Yes, you're exactly right. All the land on earth drains towards the ocean. Not all rivers in the world drain in an ocean, but most rivers do. Moving water can't help but to move things towards the ocean. Erosion is the word we like to use when describing the movement of rock and debridement into the landscape. Sand that comes from the Georgia mountains will eventually end up in the ocean. Pretty cool. So here in Georgia, our rivers move sand from inland areas to the coast. Then with the help of the Longshore Current, it moves it even farther down south. Once the sand is finished moving and it is placed back onto the landscape, we call that sand deposition. The Georgia Barrier Islands, oftentimes when viewed from an airplane, look like a chicken drumstick. Fat and meaty at the north end, long and skinny on the south end. That is caused by the Longshore Current that flows southward from North Carolina all the way to South Georgia. It is depositing sand at the north end of the island and dragging it down to the southward. Pretty awesome. So you mean the sand here on Tybee might have come from the North Georgia mountains? Maybe so. It depends on which river the sand was washed into. Most North Georgia rivers drain into the Gulf of Mexico. However, the Savannah River drains right here on Tybee Island. Isn't that so awesome? Okay, campers, I hope you had fun at the beach. Now we're going to drive back to Burton, but we're going to sing a fun song. It's a repeat after me song. It's a repeat after me song. Tarzan. Hey, Captain, where's the sand in the volleyball court come from? That actually comes from the store. But good thought. Good though. Hey, look, Captain. I'm a dredge. <laughs> sure you are. So, guys, be sure to visit the hoses outside of your dorms because we don't want you taking any sand inside the dorms. But hurry. Don't be late to lunch, KP. Go, go, go. Thank you all so very much for spending time with us today talking about the beautiful beach here on Tybee Island and how it got here on a special 4-H camp edition to Tuesdays on Tybee.